it's really a rather historic moment. It goes, it, even though there were some rear engine cars before this, this is what changed the Indy 500. Gary Dausch knows racing history. In 1963, that's the first year that Lotus came to the Indy 500. And he's a big fan of Lotus, even recreating 60s Lotus cars in his workshop. I've touched the nuts and the bolts. I've touched the little fasteners. I've touched the tires and, you know, all this stuff. I've had to sand the bodywork and get the shape and so on. It all feeds into Dausch's art lifelike historical paintings capturing the racing world's stars and classic moments. Yeah, that gives me a, a very intimate process when I'm painting. Dausch's current work is a portrait of 2013 Indy 500 winner and frequent driver Tony Kanaan. He says he has about 50 hours into the painting so far. It's meticulous work. The one eye I've redone about four to five times now, and uh, as I just didn't like his nose, which is very important on Tony Kanaan. I've probably done that about six times, to, you know, to get it adjusted and move things a little bit and try to make it, you know, roll and get, you know, the shadows where, where I think they need to be. Dausch works off of photographs, some taken himself. He will blow up certain portions, such as Kanan's eye, so he can see and infer as much detail as possible. I put the time in it because if I don't, if, if it doesn't meet my standard and if I don't feel like it's good enough, then I'm not done. I, I'm wasting my time. and. I really, I really want these to be good and representative and people to, to like them. And Some artists have a tendency to stay in their lane. If they're good at painting people, then they will focus on portraits. Or if they're good at mechanical objects, the collection will be paintings of cars. Dausch, though, understands both man and the machine, and both are to be built from a strong foundation. It's all the same. It's spheres and ovals and it's uh, cylinders and, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. It's the same parts they're just but you have to render them differently because some are hard and shiny and some are soft and you know like cloth or skin he focuses on the thoughtful moments rather than the victory laps or the chugging of milk that is francois Severe. that's about 1972. based on a photo Dausch took of the driver about a year before Severe's tragic passing during an f1 race in watkins glen new york Given the sometimes heavy nature of racing history, Dausch strives for warmth and accuracy over photorealism, elevating his work above memorabilia and into fine art. I try to keep enough character in maybe some of the way I use the paint, you know, that still it is a painting. There's a certain, I think, maybe a softness about it, but it also has a richness you know, uh, that I think helps the pieces. With deeper historical pieces, Dausch often has to research several reference photos. Well, they have pretty big stories, some of the older cars. Adding color to black and white originals or combining and compiling legends into compositions. I found what I, I thought might be a, a groove. I'm hoping it doesn't turn out to be a rut. <laughs> but that's, that's life, you know. I'm, I'm doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing. Joy Hernandez for Great Day TV.